Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Summer here to talk about lesson 106, noble gas electron configuration. In this lesson, students will be able to model an atom's noble gas electron configuration using quantum mechanics and apply the Aufbau principle, Hund's rule, and the Pauli exclusion principle to fill atomic orbitals. Remember from lesson 105, electron configuration is a detailed way of showing the order in which electrons fill in around the nucleus. The number in front is the energy level. The letter is the sublevel, S, P, D, or F. And the exponent is the number of electrons in that sublevel. Remember, we have to follow three rules Aufbau's principle, Hund's rule, and Pauli exclusion principle. Noble gas configuration for an element is a shorthand way of writing its electron configuration. The reason we can do that is because noble gases have completely full orbitals. Because of that, we can use a shorthand electron configuration with all other elements. How we do this is we write the noble gas that is in the row above the element in, the bra in brackets, then the remaining electron configuration. So for example, the electron configuration for lithium is 1s2, 2s1. Now, if we were to find lithium on the periodic table right there, the noble gas that is in the row directly above it is helium. So in order to write the electron configuration, noble gas configuration for lithium, we would write helium in our brackets, HE, then because the, what else is left over from the electron configuration is 2s1. Lithium has the exact same electron configuration as helium plus this additional 2s1. So let's try another example. You'll remember this example from the previous lesson. If we look at the periodic table, oxygen is right here. The noble gas that is direct in the row directly above it is helium. So we write helium in our brackets. Now, helium has an electron configuration of 1s2. So the rest of for oxygen would be 2s2, 2p4. So here you can see that the noble ga gas configuration for oxygen is helium, 2s2, 2p4. So another example would be write the noble gas configuration for copper. So copper's actual noble gas configuration, or the longhand noble gas configuration, is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9. It gets really long once you start getting into elements that are down here. It gets really tiresome to have to write out all of those different letters and exponents and numbers. So if we look at the periodic table, copper is right here. The noble gas that is directly in the row directly above is argon. Argon's Electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. So now what we can do is if you notice, these are all the same between the two. So the only thing we have left for copper's noble gas configuration that's different from argon's is 4s2, 3d10. So we can write the copper's noble gas configuration as argon, 4s2, 3d9. And once again, here's a much neater way to write the copper's noble gas configuration. Argon, 4s2, 3d9.